Hello everyone. Some big changes could be coming for veterans health care. A federal commission will soon release its recommendations on how to improve the Veterans Health Administration. TV6's Harry Lee joins us now to explain all this. Harry? Well, Steve, uh, a yet to be released version of the direction for veterans health care is expected to mirror the report TV6 News has obtained. Tonight, we'll show you how it will affect UP veterans. It all started when a VA medical center in Phoenix became embroiled in a long waitlist scandal in 2014. CNN reported nearly 40 people died while waiting for medical appointments. In response, Congress enacted the CHOICE program meant to speed up wait times. When they enacted the CHOICE program in 2014, they also mandated a commission on care to evaluate the future of veterans care services. The Commission on Care is expected to release its report next Wednesday. And TV6 has obtained an unreleased draft version. The 34-page document says the VA health care system is seriously broken with no efficient path to repair it. It cites challenges with budget, operations, and leadership. Some veterans say they become entangled in red tape when they try to get answers about their health care or medical problems. The Commission's conclusion, the VA should transition to private health care. I'm leaning towards, I don't want to see it happen, but as long as the vets are treated properly and they get the care that they're entitled to and they need, I may be flexible in that category. Privatization means underused VA facilities would close and patients would transfer to community care. The VA would continue to pay for the care. Of the 15 commission members, four represent major medical centers. Those same sources say two members are aligned with an advocacy group, Concerned Veterans for America. Forbes says the group, CVA, is mainly funded by the Koch brothers, David and Charles, who have long supported libertarian causes like privatization of markets. Only one member is from a mainstream veteran service organization. U.S. Representative Dan Beneshek of Iron Mountain declined to comment for this story. The U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs has not yet replied to our request for comment.